Hello guys, it's Toby here. A while back I made a couple of videos about one of my favourite mods called QCraft. Well, the mod has since had an update, so I thought I'd revisit it and show you what's changed. I'm going to be dealing with some of the more complicated details of this mod, so if you haven't watched my previous two videos, I highly recommend you go and do that first. Right, let's get down to it. This QCraft update adds some really cool stuff, including server-to-server -server teleportation. We'll look at that later on, but firstly, you remember the observation goggles from QCraft? They show you your observer-dependent blocks and quantum blocks in their superposition state, allowing you to work with the ODBs and QBs more easily. Well, check out these anti-observation goggles, made with glass panes and an essence of observation. Quite simply, when equipped, these goggles make it seem like you're not there to the QCraft blocks. So, the ODB and the QB will remain in whatever state it was last, while you observe it through your anti-observation goggles. Okay, so say you want to flick a switch over here, and it makes something happen over there using quantum mechanics. We already have the entangled blocks, where one observed block will affect how a second entangled block will appear, but this doesn't incorporate redstone. Nope, the automatic observer contraption does that. This is a device made with stone, redstone dust and an essence of observation, which causes a quantum observation to occur when a current is pushed into it. Basically, as far as the ODB is concerned, the automatic observer acts like a player and observes the block. Now, it only has a very limited range of observation of one block away, but it essentially means that you can combine redstone and entangled blocks to make some pretty awesome contraptions. Alongside this, quantum computers can now be energised using a redstone signal, meaning you can teleport objects and blocks around the map without having to be next to them. Lastly, we promised you teleportation, so here goes. QCraft adds a device called a Quantum Portal, which can teleport you across huge distances in your world, known as intra-server portals, and even from one server to another, called inter-server portals. Now, the setup for these is important, so listen closely. You'll need obsidian, gold blocks, glass blocks, a quantum computer and an ice block, as well as some essence of observation. Make four observer-dependent blocks, putting obsidian in every slot except the two which are on the axis of travel which must be gold blocks. This means if you're planning to enter your portal from the north and the south, put gold blocks in the north and south slots. Once we've made these four blocks, make a basic portal shape, like a nether portal, and put an ODB in each corner, ending with this shape when you look at it face on. Then put your quantum computer next to the portal and an ice block next to that to finish off the system. Now you're ready for your interface. If you're doing server to server traveling, you might need an admin of the server to do this bit. As an aside, the more similar the two servers are, the less likely there is to be a problem. Because you take your inventory with you, when you travel, you can cause problems if there's too much differences in the server. But back to the interface. Firstly, input a name for your portal, like this. If you've already made a second portal to travel to, put that name in this bit. I'm just doing intra-server teleportation. If you want to change servers, click this bit to find the appropriate servers. Then you're ready to energize, do that, and let's see where this takes us. That about wraps it up for this QCraft update spotlight. If you haven't played this mod before, then I really recommend you do so. Once you've got your head around the concept, it's actually pretty easy to pick up. With all these awesome updates to the mod, even experienced QCrafters can have a lot to look at, so if you're unsure about anything, click up here for my first two QCraft videos, or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, now go and do QCraft stuff.